Our planet is in crisis. As global temperatures rise, Earth is struggling to cope. The heating of our planet has already reached the point that the impact on the poorest and most vulnerable people are profound. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. The UN Climate Summit is being called our last best chance to get things right. So what does it involve? COP26 is a massive meeting of leaders from all over the world. They're set to arrive in Glasgow in November to tackle the climate crisis. The problem is our warming planet and humans are to blame after decades of burning fossil fuels like coal and oil. Every fraction of a degree the world warms means more food shortages, wildfires, floods and rising seas. Scientists have warned that we must limit temperatures rising to no more than 1.5 Celsius if we are to have any chance of saving the planet. So, at the last COP conference in Madrid, each nation came up with a plan to cut their carbon emissions by the next meeting in Glasgow. Six years on, COP26 will be a kind of report card on how everyone is doing and what countries will now commit to doing to prevent irreversible damage. COP26 is not just another international meeting. It's one of the most important diplomatic gatherings in history. And there's a lot at stake. Pacific island nations like the Solomon Islands are already experiencing catastrophic severe weather. We are living in fear every time with the rising tide and so on, dusty. Everyone has to relo relocate their gardens far up in the land. And it can be really tiring. It can be way up in the hills that took them for about one and a half hours, so maximum two hours to walk to the garden in order for them to have the daily supply of food. To be frank, it, the challenge is enormous and it really will require us all working together. Um, and it will especially require countries um, who are more developed and maybe um, a little less vulnerable to climate change, um, listening you know, very carefully to the needs of those countries who are affected. What makes a COP special is that it's one of the only platforms we have to tackle this global problem at a global level. Well, Glasgow is going to blow up. <laughs> Glasgow is not going to look like Glasgow we've seen before. I, th I think imagine the Edinburgh Fringe, but with a huge nerdy climate angle. The SECC in Glasgow will officially become United Nations territory for two weeks to allow leaders to meet. It will be called the Blue Zone with high security. Across the Clyde, the Glasgow Science Centre is preparing to become the Green Zone, where the public can get involved. We'll have music, we'll have a performance, all trying to address different aspects of climate change. Climate-friendly family activities have already launched across Scotland, like this litter-collecting robot ship in Falkirk. Oh, I think it's very good that they're learning all that about uh, if it's happening to the world and just hope it uh, turns out to be a good world. What kind of world the next generation inherits hinges on this climate summit. All eyes are now on Glasgow.